Hi everyone, you're watching Campus France. Thanks a lot to be there with us for a new live session dedicated to higher education in France. And we are here today with EMT Atlantique, an engineering, an engineering school, uh, focuses on three main areas of expertise, digital technology, energy, and the environment. A master's program are taught in English and offered in those fields. And the institute has been awarded the Bienvenue en France label, which guarantees the quality of the experience for the international students. Students. EMT Atlantic is spread over three campuses located in the western part of France. It's a dynamic series of Brest, Nantes, and Rennes. Uh, during this live session, you will discover the English Taught Master's Program, MSc, and the school life. And you can start asking all of your questions. Our uh, in, in interviewers are here today to answer them. Uh, we are here with Lauriane Blondel. Hi. Hi. Uh, you're head of international office. Thanks a lot to be there with us. We're also with Kelly Regalado. Hi. Hi. Thanks a lot to be there with us. And we're also with Rudresh Mishra. Hi. Hello. Your master's nice, nice alumnus. Uh, my first question will be really easy. Can you first introduce yourself? Let's start with you, Lauriane. Thank you so much, Guillaume. So, uh, hi everyone and hi Guillaume. My name is Lauriane Blondel and I'm the head of the international office at IMT Atlantic Non Campus. Uh, Kelly, same question for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm Kelly Regalado. Regalado. I'm, I'm from, from Peru. Peru. I, I study industrial assistance engineering there. And, there. and well, well, then, then I, focus I focus on energy, energy and I was working two years and a half there. there. And Rudresh, can you introduce yourself? I come from so I recently completed my master of science in data science uh, from EMT Atlantic. Uh, and currently I'm working in Korea as a research engineer. Okay, where do you work? Uh, in Rio, France. And what is uh, in Rio, France? Uh, in Rio, France is uh, you know, it's, uh, one of the top uh, technical laboratories in France, which is uh, towards the research and development in the domain of things. Uh, so I'm working here as a you know research engineer uh, in the Ministry of Defense for the Ministry of Defense, uh, which is known as SHOM. So I'm working on Asian data, ocean data and all. So yes, that is what I'm doing currently. Okay, really interesting. Uh, you're going to talk more about uh, uh, your job opportunities and the, the experience you had at uh, EMT. Um, can you introduce and can you present uh, Lauriane EMT Atlantic? Sure. Um, so IMT Atlantic is one of the five best engineering schools in France, Grande École d'Ingénieurs, and it has been recognized uh, by some of the most prominent rankings as a technological university, uh, thanks to the high quality and very selective uh, master's program and programs in general uh, in the fields of digital technology, energy, and the environment, but also thanks to the excellence of its research hand in hand with uh, uh, you know, the most important research agencies in France, like CNRS, INSERM, and INRIA. And as you said, IMT Atlantic spans three campuses in, in the, the beautiful cities of Nantes, Rennes, and Brest. And uh, yeah, we are a truly um, international institution with more than uh, uh, 17 nationalities represented on campus, 40% of international students. And um, we also, as a technological university, have uh, very strong links with the industrial world. And to know more about uh, EMT Atlantic, we're going to watch a short trailer and we will be back just after that.
So Lauriane, what are the different international MSc that um, students can follow at TMT Atlantique? Well, there are actually four of them um, that are very well fitted for uh, free movers uh, and international students in general. Um, and uh, there are, I mean, uh, about different fields. Um, the first program that I wanted to uh, tell you about and uh, that Kelly will be able to tell you more about it also is our MSc PBPE, Process and Bioprocess um, Engineering in the field of uh, energy and the environment with three different tracks. Uh, one track in project management for energy and environmental engineering, one track in microalgae bioprocess, and one track in, uh, in uh, food, uh, food uh, uh, energy uh, and food processing for the future. Um, and so uh, based on this program, there is a actually an Erasmus Mundus program that is name, named ME3+. And what is really appreciated by international students is that it's basically a mix between um, technical and scientific courses and management courses. So that's the first program. Second program is our um, MSc in nuclear engineering that is actually managed by Subatec, which is uh, the most important research department in the field of engineering in France. And there are um, different tracks also. A track in um, energy production and uh, industrial application, a track in advanced waste management, and a track in medical uh, application. Um, and based on this program also is an Erasmus Mundus that is named Serena. Um, the third MSc program I wanted to tell you about is our most program. Uh, is it's in industrial engineering. Uh, it's management and optimization of supply chain and transport. And once again, what's, uh, what's appreciated by students is, uh, is that it's a mix between uh, technical courses and management courses. Uh, these three programs uh, take place on our non-campus and all start in September. And last but not least, our MSc in Information Technology um, uh, that takes place on our non, uh, sorry, on our Brest and Rennes campuses with three tracks, Data Science, and actually uh, Rudresh is one of our um, Data Science alumnus. Um, computer uh, system and network engineering, communication system and network engineering, sorry, and one last track uh, in architecture of the IoT. Um, and this program uh, starts in February, so there are different intakes depending on the program that you choose. Okay. Uh, Kelly, what is the program that you are currently following? Uh, we have a little sound problem, I think, with you, Kelly. With your mic, maybe. Oh, can you hear that's me perfect. now? That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so yeah, uh, I was saying that I am following the PBPE um, with the track of project management in energy and environmental engineering. Um, even though I am actually like uh, an an student, I am doing my fourth semester, the last one. But this semester is an internship. So actually, now I am in Berlin, in Germany, and uh, to do all this semester of master thesis. And what did you do before joining the uh, MSc? Um, as I said, I study industrial and systems engineering, but then I focus on the energy sector. So I was working for two years and a half in Peru in an energy company. And then I figured out that this master was fitting what I was looking for. So I just um, applied for that. Mm. Uh, same question for you, Ridwesh. Uh, what is the program that you followed at TMT Atlantic? So I studied uh, data science. Uh, it's a master of information technology, which is which is specialized which is specialized in data science field. Uh, so, uh, I mean, this is what I was. Uh, th this is a track which I studied here. And before that, uh, uh, I was. Uh, I mean, I was working with Accenture for three years uh, on the same field. And so, yeah. And why did you choose to follow uh, an MSc? Uh, because actually, while while working uh, in the industry, I thought that you know I need to improve you know a couple of like, my skills, uh, and then after this, I started looking for the uh, colleges uh, you know who actually the courses which is specialized in data science, and mm -hmm. then I got to, I got to know about EMT Atlantic and the reputation of EMT Atlantic in France and around the world. So because of that, uh, uh, you know, I went forward. I mean. I, I, I took my admission here. 
Yeah. Uh, Lorian, in general, what background is required to apply to the MSc? Well, it totally depends on the MSc you choose. Uh, but we ask uh, candidates to hold a bachelor degree or to be finishing their bachelor degree uh, when applying. And yes, depending on the MSc, then students need to have a background in a relevant field. Um, we also ask them to speak English, to have an intermediate uh, level of English, because uh, uh, our master's programs are taught uh, all totally or partially in English, so they need, to speak, uh, they need to speak English, but there is no French requirements, meaning that you don't need to speak French to be admitted in our uh, master's program. Mm. But that what is really interesting is that the two of them, they learned the French during uh, their studies at EMT Atlantique. Uh, uh, Rudresh, you, you, you speak French now, thanks to EMT? Yes, thanks to EMT, I can speak French now, yeah. Because you had uh, no French uh, uh, basic, uh, you, you didn't speak French at all before joining the program. Exactly, you know, my, my French was really bad, you know, when I started. But, you know, we had uh, like uh, French courses uh, in Nicole and, you know, with that uh, we improved it. Mm. And, and yeah. that joins another question I wanted to ask you, Lauriane. In which languages are this MSc taught? Well, uh, so... All of our MSCs are taught partially or totally in English. Actually, um, all the, M the MSCs I, I mentioned are taught in English. Expect three tracks, uh, the MSC in nuclear engineering medical track and uh, the MSC IT uh, in CSNE and uh, data science are partially taught in English, meaning that um, the first semester or the first year uh, is totally taught in English and the following semesters are taught in French. Mm. But what's great news for the students is that we do uh, everything that we can and we implement everything that we can to make students learn French intensively, including a uh, French summer school that is actually a summer program uh, during which students can uh, learn French intensively and also take take part in various activities and cultural activities um, in order to improve their French language proficiency. And how long do this uh, different MSc uh, last? They all last two years okay. um, and they're all structured the same way. Three academic semesters and the last semester, as Kelly said, is actually the master thesis semester, which is actually an internship that is paid uh, either in a company or in a research lab if, if uh, you know, the students are more research oriented. Mm. If you're joining uh, uh, us right now, hi, uh, we are talking about the different MSc of EMT Atlantic and you can ask all your questions during this live session we will answer them uh, in the chat uh, another question about this MSCs what are the different accreditation that they have well they are all accredited by the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research um, enabling students to uh, work after graduation in the professional world or continue with a PhD uh, if they are research oriented let's talk now more about the program of the different msc and first a question about the pedagogy how is the pedagogy organized is it a lot of theoretical classes or a lot of practical classes how does it work well you know at imt atlantic one of our main goals is to prepare our students for their professional life mm. and to do that uh, we make them uh, you know gain theoretical knowledge uh, by following theoretical courses but we also want to make them gain um, you know soft and hard skills uh, through uh, practical projects through um, professional seminars that are conducted by professionals uh, and also through site visits um, for example it's here each year our industrial uh, engineering students vi visit um, uh, the Airbus plant in Toulouse uh, nuclear engineering students visit uh, nuclear plants in France so it's very um, practical so studying at IMT Atlantic not only means studying it also means you know gaining practical experience that is a big plus on your resume mm. uh, kelly what are the courses that you already had the opportunity to follow well uh, in my master the first semester is general courses let's say and then the second semester focus more in um, environmental and the third semester is more focused on energy that is more like my track. So um, I have to say that is, you have uh, plenty of options there. But for example, the last semester that I enjoyed the most um, was more about renewable energies or other types of options that we have in these terms. And 
Also, another topic that I like about my master in the last semester, even though we were in lockdown and like most of the courses were, were online, and we get to know some softwares. For example, one that is what is called uh, Red Screen, that was, uh, the professor was excellent. And also, it gave us the tools to analyze not only from the economic point of view, but also from the situation, some projects in terms of energy options. And did you have the opportunity to do a lot of projects too? Yes, actually, um, like mainly each semester has a semestral project in which uh, we have to apply all the knowledge of um, all the all the courses. But also, depending on each course, we can have like little projects, presentations, a lot working in groups that actually um, I found really interesting because since this is an international master, we get to know different cultures, how to um, develop soft skills to to apply in in teamwork. So yeah, we have a lot of projects. And you, Redresh, uh, what uh, courses did you have the opportunity to follow during the MSc? Okay, so first semester start with, you know, uh, the general courses, which is like, uh, I mean, get it, getting basics done in math, uh, science, signal processing and all. So, so that, you know, uh, you can get start with the semester on a good note. And later on, you know, we get a specialization in the field of like, suppose I was getting a specialization in the field of data science. So I started doing a lot of um, like uh, data science related courses like machine learning, you know, uh, deep, deep neural network. Uh, so all these courses, uh, which is actually very in very high demand in the industry. So you so you know uh, so I mean semester by semester it gets upgraded, right? So yeah. And you know, what different project uh, did you have the opportunity to do? Uh, so I mean the col in, in college, uh, you know the. Each, with each subject, we get a couple of uh, like projects which is assigned to each subject. Uh, so you know, we whatever we learn in theory, we, we get to implement and implement it in the practical labs. So every every project, every subject had their you know own labs, so uh, so that you know we can actually see it like you know whatever we have actually studied theoretically, how to implement it in the in the in the laboratory. And uh, yeah, talking about it, I guess. Mostly, you know, uh, all the core subjects like machine learning, deep learning, you know, business intelligence. So that, those, those are the uh, projects which actually, we you know, we got hands on. And Lorian, you also have a, a French summer school. Can you say a few words about that? Yeah, as I said, it's a, an intensive French language program that lasts uh, four weeks in the month of August and that is offered to all of our international students. And uh, it's the opportunity uh, for them to uh, take intensive French language courses, you know, really to improve their French language proficiency. But not only, many cultural activities are organized and, uh, and also uh, sports activities. So it's also a way for... Uh, uh, international students to uh, you know meet with each other and and make friends basically uh, let's talk now about the admission process uh, we have we have a first question uh, coming from the chat from Traoré and he's asking us what are the different steps to apply to one of the MSc well it's um, actually pretty easy because everything takes place online so basically the first step is to um, uh, upload all your application documents online, like you know, regular application documents, like your resume, your your bachelor transcript, a copy of your bachelor degree, uh, a motivation letter that is really important because we ask you really to explain why you're choosing IMT Atlantic, and um, how our MSc programs will help you uh, reach your professional goals. Um, and uh, what else? You need to upload a proof of English proficiency. Um, and then you will be invited to take a pre-recorded online interview. It's not compulsory, but it's recommended. It's a plus. Um, it's a way for you to, uh, you know, showcase your, your soft skills. Um, and it will be a plus. And um, then once everything is submit, uh, submitted, the... Um, uh, the uh, international office and the heads of the programs will assess your application and then if you're admitted you'll get an admission uh, letter by email so very easy so there is no interview well there is a pre-recorded online interview okay um, but the, it's not compulsory but more and more students take it because they know it's a, a plus but 
um, once again, the motivation letter is extremely important and, uh, and uh, you need to work on it. And what are you looking for in the different uh, uh, application? What kind of student do you like? Uh, we like the best students. <laughs> I mean, we are a selective uh, technological university, so we are looking for the best students with uh, the best uh, academic profiles, but more importantly, we are looking for uh, the best professional projects. Mm. We, want, we are looking for students who know what they want to do and who are able to explain why they are choosing IMT Atlantic. Um, Kelly, how did your application process uh, go? How was it for you? Was it easy? Was it a complicated time? Can you tell us a few words about that? Sure. Uh, yes, as, as she said, it's like it was really easy for me. Um, it was all online, and I have to say that uh, they were so helpful in the terms that I make a lot of questions to be sure about the university, about the process. So um, it was not only about submitting my documents, but also they helped me, giving me some options of scholarships. Uh, like you can submit your application and this is automatically uh, entering into an excellent scholarship of the of the university EMT but also they give me other options so I can search for more information so I think 18 we, we just had a little problem with the with your connection you were talking about the help the university was giving you and that's cool because we have a question coming directly from the chat for you it's a question from Diego and he's asking you did you have the opportunity to have a, 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 a scholarships uh, for uh, EMT Atlantic so the answer is yes Yes, um, so I actually have three scholarships that in the sum of all, it pays me all, absolutely all, the academic fees, also the um, the living expenses, uh, health insurance, everything. And the first one was uh, the partial um, scholarship of EMT called Excellent Scholarship. The second one is one uh, called Beca Desafios. That is one of the, the options that the university gave me and is from Mexico to um, Latin students. And the third one is one from my country, Peru, and this is the one that pays me the, the rest of the percentage in academic uh, fees and living expenses, flights, and health insurance. So yeah, there, there's opportunities for sure. Uh, Rudresh, what would be your advice for people who want to apply? What do you want to tell them? Uh, um, like, yeah, a piece of advice. Okay, so... Uh uh, actually, uh, as Kelly said, you know, uh, for sure we have a scholarship, but the scholarship comes with, you know, the, I mean, the excellence record of the student. So, yeah, uh, I mean, it's a really good opportunity, you know, to, uh, to apply for this college. But, uh, I mean, one thing which I actually felt that, you know, you should have a, a good background, at least if you're applying for information technology, uh, it's, it's necessary to have a good background in the field of, you know, maths, uh, you know, physics and, and all that so that, you know, you can catch up with the, you know, course level. Uh, 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 while studying here at EMT Atlantic. Mm. The solid background of maths, yes. Uh, Lorian, we have a question coming from the chat from Shuva. What is the deadline to apply? Well, it depends on the programs, but for our uh, program, PBP, NE, and most, uh, so taking place on our non-campus, the deadline to apply is May 15th because the program starts in September. Okay. For uh, MSc in Information Technology, you still have plenty on, of time until October 15th because the program starts in February. Okay, and uh, now let's talk about the student life. And if you still have questions, don't hesitate to ask them on the chat. We will answer uh, during the session. Uh, Kelly, can you describe a little bit how it is like to be a student at TMT Atlantic? Um, I really like it in terms that, uh, for example, I was living in the student residence. So there is a lot of activities that you can do, not only with your classmates, but also with the French students. Because in my case, I really wanted to improve my French. So I think that at the end, it was like half, half, let's say. Um, the classes were uh, intensive, let's say. Uh, we start early, we, we end up in the afternoon. But after that, we had opportunities to join some clubs. Um, for example, in my first semester, I joined a hip hop club. And then there were more sportive uh, groups. So I think that I really like the student life experience at the MT. And did you have some fears before uh, coming to France, before joining the school? Did you did you have some fears? 
Personally, no. Uh, I have already some experiences living abroad, so um, I knew that it will be different because French is like um, English. You can get to know at, like always, but French is a different language, at least coming from Peru, yes. So I think that the, um, even though I was excited, I was a little bit like um, looking forward how my French will develop here. But then uh, I think that also the good thing is that all the classmates are from abroad, like international, so we, we share a lot of our feeling of, of living in a new country, like we share us up, so it was good at the end. And for you, Rudresh, did you have some fears before joining the school or was it okay for you? So, uh, yeah, actually one of the fears which I had is for sure French, you know, how, how I'll cope up with the French language. Uh, but thanks to college, you know, uh, they really helped me a lot. Uh, the, the regular classes, what we had here, uh, you know, that actually uh, helped me to build my level, you know, to improve my French proficiency. But apart from that, I was, uh, I was uh, totally fine, you know, I mean, rest, everything worked well for me. Yeah. Uh, Lorian, one of the fears the students, uh, not always, but usually, usually have is the different administrative process. Uh, how does it work and how do you help them with all the visa, etc., etc., procedures? Well, um, as Kelly said, there is a team of uh, four people uh, helping students with their application and advising uh, them about scholarship opportunities and everything. So we are here really to help students, uh, you know, join IMT Atlantic um, from the application to then uh, advise for scholarships. And regarding visas, we also in touch with Campus France who uh, can uh, help uh, students uh, with this. And then once students arrive on campus, campus there is an orientation week that is organized because one of our goals is to make students feel at home and um, there are people there uh, from the staff helping them with uh, you know uh, opening a bank account uh, and all the administrative things you need to do when you 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 are in a new country basically mm. um, so yeah and uh, something I, I wanted to mention also is that we offer on-campus accommodation because it's it's a real plus because we know that w when you're a student coming from the other side of the planet you sometimes you don't know how to deal with um, finding accommodation and there is on-campus accommodation available for all international students um, uh, at IMT Atlantic okay um, and so that's a big plus because are together they can uh, create some links uh, yes. between each other and it's also an opportunity for them to meet other French students because mm. uh, because uh, it's always it's also something international wants to want to do like meet with other French students and, and make French friends um, and uh, in order to do that uh, as Kelly said there are many uh, student clubs on campus so if you're a sport person if you're an art person uh, you'll find a, a club that that, that you know, that suits you, basically. And how much does it cost to study uh, at TMT Atlantic? Well, once again, it depends on the master's program that you choose, and also it depends on your academic level, where you're coming from, if you're coming from a partner university or not, if you're sponsored by one of our um, uh, partners. But basically, tuition fees go from 12,000 euros per year to 5,000 euros um, per year, full price. Uh, uh, and we offer scholarships uh, in the form of tuition fee waivers, depending on all the criteria that I mentioned. Mm. Let's talk now about the professional world and the international world too. Uh, first question, is it possible to do an internship during the MSc? It is possible uh, and it's actually uh, compulsory. Mm. Um, all of our students have to complete an internship during the uh, international MSCs with us. It's actually the last semester of the program and this uh, internship can be completed uh, either in a company or in a lab depending on the student's project, either in France, in Europe or somewhere else in the world. And uh, the great news is uh, this internship is paid. So it's something uh, international students uh, have to take into account when you know building their budget. Mm. Um, so they will be paid during the last semester uh, of the program. Kelly, you just mentioned the fact that you're uh, currently doing uh, an internship in Berlin. Can you talk about it and say a few words about what you are doing there? Yes, sure, I will. Actually, I just joined yesterday, so, um, <laughs> but uh, here, yes, I'm kind of new, but I really, I'm liking the experience. Um, here, I have to say that, first of all, I have to thank the university because I got this internship 
thanks to them. So what happened is in, in our third semester, we also have a course called Professional Coaching. So the aim of these um, classes are to prepare you to, for applications. Because for sure, like in my case, coming from South America, and the way that we apply there is different from the way that appli of application in Europe, let's say. So they teach us um, about how is the CV in certain uh, countries, how is the motivation letter, and actually they correct us. Um, so after we finish these classes at this more or less uh, in November, um, they ask us how is our, our applications. Each one is uh, responsible to find the opportunities, it's true. But what happened in my master is that they had the initiative to do a CV ebook. So they ask all my classmates to send the CVs. And then, because they already have a database of all the companies where the university already sent interns, they send this CV, this CV book to them. And this is how this uh, company in, in Germany contact me, actually, for an interview. Um, and well, I have to say that the experience overall was uh, intensive, because you have to work. But it's good that the university give you this help. And, and in my case, the contact was um, direct. And now, well, and I will work in the project management and delivery team. And mainly to work in energy projects. Uh, my company has um, offices in Brussels, Dubai, and Singapore, and in, in Germany, in Berlin. So uh, a good thing, or I might say what why they choose my, my profile is uh, also because of my previous background. Um, but but also this this master is international, so we we get to see a lot of cases of study of different countries. So um, our mind is already set to think big, to think uh, about international um, issues. So I might think that um, for my company was a perfect profile. That's cool, and it's uh, it's as it has just been one day. So I don't know what you're going to say <laughs> after after uh, how how long six months. Yes, one semester. Yeah. One semester, you will be like a really, really good professional. That's cool. And that shows uh, how strong the link between EMT Atlantic and the professional world are. Yeah. Uh, we have a whole department dedicated to, uh, you know, corporate relations. And we have a team also dedicated to uh, helping students find an internship. So we are really there to help you and to support them, basically. And something I didn't mention is that uh, IMT Atlantic counts... Uh, around 15,000 alumni around the planet. So this really uh, help us, you know, with uh, professional opportunities and create professional opportunities and internship opportunities for uh, our students. Mm. Uh, we have a question for you, Rudresh, coming from the LinkedIn chat from Arnold. Uh, is it necessary to have a strong mathematical uh, background to apply to your MSc? Uh, I would say, uh, uh, even you know, in the first semester, we will have a couple of classes, you know, which will help you to actually to actually improve your you know, mathematics uh, or signal processing, you know, to say. So uh, I mean, you should have a basic knowledge, you know, good knowledge about maths. Uh, but yeah, you can improve, you know, after joining the joining the school here. And let's talk also about your internship experience. Uh, did you have the opportunity? Yes, you have the opportunity. So what was your internship? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, actually, you know, uh, uh, I got a two internship while I was working, you know, uh, in, I was actually, you know, studying here. So I did one of the summer internship uh, uh, because we get a gap after completing our first uh, first year. So I got a, a chance to work with IBM Brussels. Uh, I was working for NATO there, you know, in the in the domain of HR. So I mean, uh, that was very nice because uh, because because you know, uh, processes like this. Uh, the EMT Atlantic brand itself, the name of college helps helps you a lot to get the nice internship, you know, because you have the name and CV. So uh, they actually prefer to have a, you know, candidate from the good equal. So that's how my, uh, my profile got selected for the IBM, uh, where I work for three months. And as, as, as Kelly said, we have a, a final uh, internship, which we have, which is a mandatory internship uh, to justify our master program. So I did six months of internship with Amadeus. So I was working, you know, there for, uh, for, uh, for, for, for the hotel with the hotel, hotel brands in order to, you know, help them to grow their business. Uh, so these are the two internships which I did. And, uh, uh, so after that, uh, what I'm like, as, as you know, that I'm working here as a research engineer at INRIA. 
uh, but uh, later on uh, uh, you know uh, i'll be joining uh, next month uh, pwc luxembourg you know uh, as a data science consultant uh, uh, senior associate so yeah i mean we we get a lot of good opportunities uh, yeah, in the term of internship and job you know uh, uh, after in, in the equal and after the equal, after completing your uh, masters and what was it easy for you to find these different opportunities uh so actually uh, it's not easy you know you have to really work hard because uh, while working at uh, you know at uh, at ecol uh, we had a lot of project as i said and uh, i did couple of research work uh, you know uh, which is uh, which actually got well recognized and because of that uh, you know i got a chance to you know clear all these interviews because your profile should be strong enough right so yeah Uh, it was it wasn't easy but yeah if you if you keep looking if you if you're motivated for sure you'll get a very good opportunities uh, uh, always lorian that, that joins one of the question that uh, the students uh, have a lot is it possible to stay in france after graduation yes it is once you graduate from a french university or french engineering school then you can apply for a, a visa extension and i guess that's what uh, rudresh did Uh, after he graduated from um, from IMT Atlantic, and in general, what are the different job opportunities for the student after the MSCs? Well, there are many. You know, knowing that uh, you know engineering jobs are the most in-demand jobs in, in in France, there are various opportunities. Plus, as I said, our MSc programs really prepare them for the professional world, and uh, our students take technical and scientific classes, but also management classes. So basically, they are ready to work after graduation. So, um, as I said, they can either work for companies as project managers, as engineers, uh, but they can also continue with a PhD and that's definitely an option for them uh, because completing a master's degree in France uh, really you know helps you find a PhD position afterwards because you get to know professors you understand how research work in France and you also showcase your skills um, so that's also an option for uh, students who are interested in, in PhD And what are the different uh, salaries that uh, you can have after the MSCs? As I said, uh, engineering jobs in France are in-demand jobs, so uh, inevitably salaries are pretty high. Uh, we usually say that uh, after graduation, the average uh, salary is forty uh, thousand euros per year, but it really depends on various criteria, like where the students are finding a job uh, and what type of, of um, jobs um, they, they chose. But more than ninety-seven percent of our students uh, find a job within three months after graduation. Mm. Uh, Kelly, what do you want to do uh, after your MSc? Do you already know the, the typology of jobs you want to have? Well, um, I will see how these six months develop, but uh, I have the idea to apply all what I can learn here somehow um, in my country or in South America, for example. But uh, now I feel in the... In, Like, if I can move, for example, this company has uh, several um, projects in different countries. So if I can get to know more, uh, I will be more than happy. But for sure, I think that um, if in some way I can apply this to my home country, I will be so happy. And uh, um, Rudresh, what would be your last advice for people watching us today and who want to join the MSC of EMT Atlantic? <laughs> Uh, I guess, uh, uh, frankly, telling you know, uh, joining EMT Atlantic actually uh, really changed my life in the sense you know, actually, I I really developed uh, in the term of skills. Uh, so I would really motivate others you know to to look forward to this college you know to apply here because it really provides a very you know great exposure uh, in the term of uh, like studies here and also in the term of you know uh, getting a good job, be it in the in the field of research, be it in the field of uh, You know, in, in in the industry, uh, as, as I have experienced already, uh, I guess uh, we, it, it has a very good brand uh, in in France and around the world, and it is a really well recognized college. So, uh, you know, the, with the help of uh, uh, with the help of uh, you know technical knowledge which you gain here, with the help of uh, the connection which you make here while studying, uh, you know, uh, it, it really it really uh, develops the uh, personality. Also, chance of you know uh, having a better uh, future in terms of you know getting a good job and all. So yes. And some question question for you, Lorian. What would be your last advice uh, to the audience today? 
Well, um, my last advice is to give it a try. You know, application is 100% free. So apply as soon as you can and find out if you're, uh, if you're admitted or not. And uh, I would say uh, work on your motivation letter and work on, uh, you know, your motivations to join IMT Atlantic. Thanks a lot, Lauriane, Kelly, and Rudresh for having been with us today. And thanks to you for having watched us. You can keep on asking your question on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also I think Twitch. You were a lot today with us. Thanks, 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 thank you. And the uh, EMT Atlantic team is uh, going to keep on answering to all of your questions uh, in the chat section. So you can keep on asking them. And see you soon on Campus France. Thank you.